Is echoes of the end stuttering, lagging, or running like it's stuck in slow motion on your PC? You're not alone. Even players with decent rigs are struggling. But don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn this, show choppy gameplay into this, show buttery smooth footage. And here's the kicker. I'm not just giving you the usual update your drivers tip. We'll combine pro tweaks, hidden windows settings, and in-game optimizations that make a massive difference, especially for low-end PCs. So stick with me until the end, because step number six alone can give you a 10 to 20 FPS boost instantly. One, update and optimize drivers the right way. First things first, yes, we're updating graphics drivers, but we're doing it properly. Go to your GPU manufacturer's website, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, and download the latest game ready or adrenaline driver, not the one from Windows Update. After installing, open your GPU control panel and make these changes. NVIDIA, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. AMD, enable Radeon chill only if you have overheating issues, otherwise keep it off. Intel Arc, turn on threaded optimization and set scaling to performance. This ensures your GPU isn't throttling in the middle of combat. Two, fix CPU bottlenecks with background task cleanup. Your CPU is the hidden culprit behind stutters. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager startup tab disable anything you don't need, like Discord, OneDrive, or updater apps. Then, in the Processes tab, sort by CPU usage and end background hogs like Chrome, or any software you're not actively using while gaming. Three, in game settings that actually matter. Now for the game itself. If you're on a low-end PC, here's the magic combo. Resolution, drop to 85 to 90% scale. Sharper than you think, big FPS game. Shadows, medium or low. Shadows hit FPS hard in this game. Post-processing, low, keeps clarity high without blurring your view. V-Sync, off, unless you're seeing screen tearing. DLSS slash CSS slash FSR, use balanced mode, quality looks nice, but balanced gives the sweet spot. This alone should smooth out half of the stutters. Four, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Let's use Windows to give your GPU a little more freedom. Go to Windows Settings System Display Graphics Default Graphics Settings and turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Reboot your PC. It reduces frame pacing issues and improves 1% lows. 5. Tweak the page file for memory stability. Low RAM? This game will choke if you run out. Search for Advanced System Settings Performance Settings Advanced Virtual Memory Change. Uncheck Automatically Manage, select your fastest drive, and set the page file size to 1.5x your RAM for both initial and maximum size. For example, if you have 8GB RAM, set both to 12,288MB. 6. The Secret FPS Boost Process Lasso Trick Here's the one that surprises most people, Process Lasso. It's a free tool that lets you prioritize the game over everything else. Install it, run Echoes of the End, then in Process Lasso, right-click the game CPU Priority Always High and CPU Affinity Enable Performance Mode. This gives the game maximum CPU attention and can easily net you 10 to 20 more FPS on weak CPUs. 7. Power Plan Upgrade In Windows Power Options, set your power plan to ultimate performance. If you don't see it, open Command Prompt as Admin and type. Power duplicate scheme e 942025 da 448 da 00031474 b 61 Then select it in the control panel. 8. Disk and shader cache cleanup. Finally, clean up your system. Run disk cleanup, check DirectX shader cache, and remove it. Next time you launch the game, it will rebuild a clean shader cache, which often fixes micro stutters. 9. Optimized tweaks. There are two versions of this mod. One, main slash base version. This focuses on reduced stutter, lower input latency, and more stable frame times while keeping your visuals intact. Two, optimized tweaks boost version. This has the same core optimizations as the base mod, but with slightly downgraded visuals for even higher performance, expect anywhere from 10 to 35 FPS more compared to the base version. Recommended for old slash weak GPUs, Steam Deck, RX 470, 480, 5600 XT, GTX 1060, 1070, etc. Choose depending on whether you want to keep graphics quality or push pure performance. Here's how to install it. Download either the base or boost version from the mod page. Extract the .pack file from the archive. Place it here. 
backslash the darken backslash content backslash packs backslash mods. If you don't have a mods folder, create one. That's it, the mod is now active. To uninstall, just delete the .pack file from your mods folder. 10. GPU drivers or rollback if necessary. Open Device Manager then expand Display Adapters. Right-click on your graphics card and select Properties. Go to the Driver tab. If your crash started happening after a recent update, click Rollback Driver. If the rollback option is not available, visit the official website of your graphics card manufacturer and download the latest stable driver manually. After updating or rolling back your driver, restart your computer and launch the game again. 11. Check for Windows Updates. Open Settings Windows Update. Install all optional updates, especially related to security and UEFI slash TPM modules. Feature updates often include secure boot support for newer games. And that's it. With these tweaks, Echoes of the End should feel smoother, more responsive, and way more playable even on a low-end system. If this helped you, hit that like button so more players can see it, and subscribe for more quick PC fixes before you even rage quit, and comment your FPS before and after. I want to see your results. And if you want my full advanced Windows gaming tweak guide that can boost FPS in any game, click the video on screen now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.